Hedging adverse price movements using options. So in this introduction, we will see what is a hedge and how does it work. So first, what is a hedge? An investment position aimed at offsetting potential losses or gains that may be incurred by another investment is a hedge. Investments like hedge helps to reduce losses or gains suffered by an individual or organization as a result of another investment. So that's basically what a hedge is. Now let us see how does it work. For illustration purposes, let us see how hedging is used to counter adverse price movements in currency risk, which is the risk associated in currency transactions by what is called as the call option. So we will explain uh, once again everything from what is an option to what in a call option or how to use it to curb an adverse price movement in currency exchange rate or currency risk. Now let us see how what is hedging with call option and illustration. So here we will see what more about hedge and more about currency options. So what is hedge? A hedge normally is made from financial instrument like an option, swap, forward contract, exchange traded fund, stocks, etc. It is used in such a way that it reduces the risk of adverse price movements in an asset by taking an offsetting position in a related security such as an option or a forward contract. Now more about currency options, what are they? Before illustrating how options could be used to hedge adverse price movements in currency price, let us now take a look at what is an option. So a currency option. What is a currency option? A currency option is a contract between a buyer of currency option and a seller of currency option. The buyer of the option has the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a specified currency at a specified exchange rate at or before a specified date from the seller of the option. Now that is basically about the option, currency option. However, a seller has an obligation in the event the buyer exercises the right that is bestowed upon him because of the currency option. Now let us consider or let us see what are the different types of option which is a call option and a put option. So what is a call option? A call option is where a buyer has the right to buy a specified currency at a specified rate which is the exchange rate at a specified date. And a put option is where uh, the buyer has the right to sell a specified currency at a specified rate which is the exchange rate at a specified date to the seller of the option. Now, What is a premium of an option? The premium or price of an option is the compensation that the seller of the option receives from the buyer at a time when he or she purchases the option. Now for illustration purpose let us assume a trader buys a September Malaysian rupee 0.10 call option for a Malaysian 0 0.01 rupee or 1 paise which means buying a Malaysian rupee 0.10 option which guarantees purchase of 0 0.10 Malaysian rupee for an Indian rupee for the buyer of the option. So the Malaysian exchange rate is 0 0.10. For 1 Indian rupee which means for 1 Indian rupee 0.10 Malaysian rupees can be obtained. So they write a Malaysian rupee call option for September which is of 0 0.10. Now when Malaysian rupee appreciates to 0 0.08 which would mean we need more rupees to buy a Malaysian rupee. So that is when Malaysian rupee appreciates to 0 0.08. But if the trader has this Malaysian rupee call option 0 0.10, he can still get 0 0.10 Malaysian rupee for 1 Indian rupee and not 0 0.08 Malaysian rupee as per the exchange rate. So that is the beauty of using a call option. Now similarly, the put option can also be used by the buyer in the event Malaysian rupee depreciates to let us say 0 0.80 or 0 0.90 on a similar basis. Hope this clarifies how hedging is used to cover adverse price movements using currency options. Thanks.